we start off by making some pulled pork. This is something I've never done before. So it was a recipe I seen and I thought I'm gonna try it. Um, it'd be a big hit in this house. So we just start with one cup, cup of beef broth. I think you were supposed to add chicken, but I only had beef at hand. So hey, <laughs> go with whatever we got. So just in here, just adding one cup of beef broth, like I say. And then we have a few ingredients mostly was in our pantry anyway um we're going to start with some Worcestershire sauce a couple of splashes of that and yes we have a dog that just wants to be in on the action so it's life we can't lock her away anyway when we don't have any doors <laughs> um i never measure anything so we just go in with a good amount of garlic powder i mean why not right just add more flavor we all like garlic powder and then a bit of onion powder add that to the mix um, again this is all pantry things that I add on hand most of it a bit of Italian seasoning I mean how can you cook anything with no Italian seasoning come on so we'll just add a couple of sprinkles of that it did say first to put oil in I missed that step I only have spray oil we go with a pinch of salt, a bit more than a pinch, a couple of spritz of pepper, and again, like I say, I miss the oil. <clears throat> so I do go in with a little bit of that. I forgot about the chili powder. Add a bit of that, a couple more sprinkles. Again, do it to your taste of what you like, what your family likes. This is what we like. I never make the same recipe twice because it's always add a bit of this bit of that so now for my DIY oil <laughs> I did add this brown sugar unfortunately it was a bit dried up and um, hard that didn't make a difference because I knew I was cooking it so I knew it would dissolve which it did there was no lumps I can assure you we had the sweet baby rays barbecue sauce i was all out there wasn't enough really i didn't want to mix the barbecue sauces so i just went in with this one full bottle of that and when you see in a moment this will be ever so big <laughs> uh it didn't overflow which i was lucky about but it was um a lot in one crock pot so who knows where i'm going now but I'm sure I'll come back with something. Oh, I think the mustard. Forgot about the mustard. I had a stronger mustard. My boys don't like mustard. My husband doesn't like mustard. I like mustard. So I just went in for the mild one that we had on hand. Everything seems a lot, but I'm telling you, when I say this pulled pork recipe was delicious, it was, oh my gosh, it was amazing. So here I go, I'm just going to chop up one onion and um, I like onion. Every time I make something, my children always say, please, ma'am, don't add onion. But here I am adding onion because you know what I tell them? It's all about the flavor. <laughs> so just going to chop up an onion here and get that incorporated. Give it a whisk and get that pork loin into cook low and slow is the best way to go we put it on for, i think i put it on for six hours um to start with but the one piece of pork loin that i cut up that you'll see in a minute took a lot longer than the others so what i did is i pulled it out i shredded it because some of it was cooked i put it back in the um crock pot to finish off marinating whilst it was shredded back in the crock pot and it was absolutely delicious like it was amazing I don't know again I don't know why I've never made this before but if you are on the look of something different this was it I mean the preparation is just cutting up an onion everything else is just bang it in so uh, quick and easy if you're gonna work stick it on I mean what where, where's the effort there is none chopping an onion which I like to chop anyway so um yeah, so I'm gonna get this line in, gonna get it on cooking and away to go.
I don't think I've ever in my life bought a pog line. Um, I picked this up when I did my Costco's grocery shop. And um, yeah, this is something I will be buying again. Especially with the summer coming, this is quick and easy. Stick it in the crock pot, get on with the day, and then you've just got quick and easy food to eat. Um, I enjoy doing a lot of help yourself meals just because my children come home at separate times. Sometimes they're hungry, sometimes they want to eat together. Majority of the time they do. So they tend to have food together. But come the summer, we could have food at all different times. It depends on how our day is and what we're doing. Um, but this honestly is lovely. So I hope you make this and get to enjoy what we enjoyed. And as you can see when I said it's bursting at the seams. Again, this didn't like expand and tip, tip out of this crock pot. It was as full as full as gonna get. Um, I made it work, it was all good. We, again, I'm just explaining here that it was low and slow. I put it on for five hours. I don't know what I said earlier. I put it on for five hours and then I took it out of the crock pot, shredded it, put it back in to finish marinating and it was um, all, all set, you know. Remember this I bought at Costco's? Well, I'm just gonna show you that. Look at the ice. Oh, can I see, can you see? The ice, yeah, still iced. I think I made this around 12-ish, say, lunchtime, with my liquid IV. Hydration is key. Um. Anyway, I done that around 12 o'clock midday. It's now 4.37, and yes, I'm still drinking it. But God, that ice is still iced. So, I think these were 39.99 for the pack of two. So I think that's a steal of a deal. To go with the pulled pork, I wanted to do a banana pudding. I've never made it before. I've seen the recipe and I thought, mm, I like bananas, I like pudding. But <laughs> everything I have except for bananas and concentrated, evaporated milk, I don't know. I think it's the, the gooey one. Anyway, I've dragged my husband. We are gonna go into town. Not happy about it well we're gonna go into town to go and get some bananas and to go and get some um that consented milk concentrated milk i don't know anyway let's see you at the store you leave a day no wendy well you can cope with that okay it's inside but, uh, oh they don't buy it we don't need all and I think what I need is like a browner colour ones. So what about like the thing is I like these. I'm gonna have these. Bananas. Oh what else do I need? Oh yes, I know. Some condensed milk. So let's find the heavy and go get condensed milk. Okay, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you when I say there is all this bacon stuff. Yeah, this will I. But I don't seem to find what I'm looking for. But I did find this, which this is so cool. So this is what I got, the vanilla one. I needed this. Look at all these flavors. Hot jello. And what else caught my eye just now? Oh look, crumbly. You have a crack? Okay, like, where would that milk be? I don't know. Condensed milk. It's condensed milk also. Not what I said it was. It's condensed milk. Okay, let's go find it. So I just wanted to point something out. A few people at home always ask me, in the UK actually, do you get UK foods? So I can get them certain places. But just pointing out, a Ribena squash, ten ninety nine, Milka, two forty nine, Like, so I can get them, but you see the price difference in what a bottle of Ribena would be in the UK as to what we would pay you. 
obviously not the store's fault because it's imported um but still this is the reason why i don't which i why i treasure having treats from home oval teen 6.99 yeah this is the international aisle aisle six canned milk maybe i should have read the signs <laughs> okay let's see if we can find it Oh my god, here she is. Here she is. Now, what did I need? Sick cream. Didn't need that. Um, but I think it's this, is it? What did you call it? What did my nan used to make it? Partly skimmed. Don't want that. Oh, no, we don't want evaporated. Oh my goodness me. What or what was it called? Evaporated? It's not this I'm looking for. It's like sticky. What's this one? See, in here you have to know because sometimes it's French. Anglais, Francais. Oh, Anglais, Francais. French. Oh my gosh, this is it. Just it. No, I don't even know how to read French. Condensed milk. Two for six fifty. Let's take two. I think I only need one, but this is what I need. This is the sticky stuff thing. Anyway, perfect door. All that looking, and I just had to check the aisle. I'll stick some cleanup. So home we go. We got our good. Let's go home and cook up a storm. So we have a lot of corn on the cob. I think this is a field that they grow corn on the cob, potatoes, potatoes. They grow potatoes here. So imagine all of this field filled with potatoes. And then we have another field, all of this filled with potatoes. This is owned by the same people. Um, so yeah, we have a few houses on our way up. So we kind of live rurally but we still have neighbors. So, there you go. So we're just coming up to our home. I just wanted to show you this. We have, um, we have, uh, as they call them here, wheelers. So this little area here, just down there. Oh, we've gone too fast, can't even see. No, this, sorry. This one here. So we go up here on our little bikes and over there, there's a big field boys over there this is just wasted land really that oh the people own but so beautiful when it's nice like this and then good old-fashioned our little mailbox that's how we get our mail and people find it like we don't have a, a letterbox or anything and then we home sweet home so I hope you can hear me. Don't have a microphone. I thought my voice is loud enough. <laughs> but like I said earlier, it's a beautiful day. Too nice to be stuck in. Bailey is whining. She always wants to come out. So let's take him for a walk. Um, normally this is pretty funny because Bailey, <clears throat> excuse me, is a big dog. <laughs> and um, she likes to run fast. So she likes to go <laughs> they drag Andrew along with her so let's go for a walk so we like to take we like to have done a trail around here in the backyard so that these can go Bailey is coming up 10 months so she's still really not trained yet to go off the lead like look at Louis he's so good but he's 13 this year but Bailey is still but Louis okay so we were going to take the dog around here but our neighbors just yelled to us to say there's a nearby skunk and guess what we don't want to do we don't want to bath our dog with skunk all over it so we're not on a mission to find the skunk because 
if anybody knows what a skunk smells like, smoke. And we don't want one because it would stink the whole house. So we'll just have a little run around you, bit of fresh air, and hope that skunk disappears soon because it's coming up to the season where we want to let the dogs out and things. But as I was saying, because I don't know, like she probably chased after the skunk. So we want to train her when all the snow is melted and she'll know her boundary and then she can go hopefully out without the entitlement lead because it's what she wants to do right so there we are hey so we just got a bit back in after the eventfulness of the skunk um onto onto the um banana pudding Oh, when I tell you, I had to cut this little bit out because it took me 30 minutes, I'm not lying, to find the vanilla pudding like that was in the fridge. Who puts powdered vanilla pudding in the fridge? That must be an Andrew thing because I don't think for the life of me that's something I would do. <laughs> so we'll just blame Andrew. Poor Andrew. Anyways, um... For the banana pudding, you need wafers, vanilla wafers. I just went in for these ones because they're the, the ones I could see. I've never done this recipe before, so didn't really know what to buy or not. So I got the vanilla wafer biscuits. Um, I actually got these over in Holton. I haven't seen them in my local store, but I haven't even looked for them, so who knows. And then the bananas. So... I did look in my fridge, didn't find the vanilla pudding, but I did find, didn't find, sorry, bananas, didn't find the vanilla pudding in there at the previous stage. But then when I went in to find the vanilla pudding, I also found bananas. So good job we had to go into the store for milk anyway. And, um... Yeah, I got a family size vanilla pudding. It worked. It was what we needed. You, um, this recipe calls for milk. I did have milk, but I bought half and half, thinking that's what I needed for this recipe. Um, again, it was milk, but what am I gonna do with half and half? So I just used what I had. And then a splash of vanilla and a block of cream cheese for Philadelphia or whatever my mixer and then on the blue pad that is my instructions um i would say i took this recipe from kimberly from the wads but i would not want to embarrass anybody by messing this up because i feel i mean it tasted fine but i still feel i messed it up i don't know why or what i thought i'd done the instructions right but anyways it turned out in the end so here I am you just put the cream cheese and condensed milk in a bowl and mix that up and get that mixed together then I put the half and half so that that little tub there I used half of it half of that and the whole box of the vanilla family size pudding in a different mixing bowl get those two mixed together and then fold it into each other the two liquids fold them together and we'll go on to the next step
here we are just giving that a mix up and adding our vanilla wafers to our dish. Um, spread them all out and then we just get the pudding on top of all of that and oh my gosh can we appreciate how quick I can chop up a banana? Like hello? I know that was because I was good in cooking in school. And we just get that all spread out and then we add more banana and then the rest of the other half of the filling goes on top of the banana and then we add one final layer of the vanilla wafers and then I put some foil on it and put it in the fridge. There's nothing really to set, you could eat that right now, but I just wanted the cool whip and everything to like blend together. Um, I'm glad I did put it in the fridge because I could have had a lot more than what I did. Morning Prash! Today is a big day. We get the eclipse today and something that I've been waiting to do for a long time but I just had to be ready. So let me take you there and show you what the big day is all about. So like I say, today is a new day. Had to be ready for this. Everybody, meet my friend Jim. Okay, let's, we got 35 minutes to bust out something and get a summer party. <laughs> sun's out, sun's out. Toodle. Workout. Glad I went. Whew, hydration. Maybe lady. Mm. Oh, I haven't been in a while, but that's the way to go. So now, let's go grab a motor mom. <laughs> so I just wanted to pop on and say thank you for watching this vlog. And thank you everybody that's subscribed and is uh, boosting my channel just to get it out there. I'm very, very grateful. Um, just to let you know, I didn't have a McDonald's. <laughs> I didn't go after the gym to McDonald's. I was just joking. Um, so I'm going to get this house cleared up. And again, a great big thank you. And if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment subscribe share it, what, what, what i do do i'm very grateful for everybody that already has so thank you see you next time toodles just for instance the ribena 10.99 can we please oh shit sugar <laughs> can we please no 10.99 10 10.99 10 reassure you all I didn't go to McDonald's <laughs> I was just joking um, but I just wanted to pop on and just say thanks for being on this journey with me um, thanks for your support the likes subscribes this dog is wanting my attention um, thank you thank you so much 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, oh, say goodbye. <laughs> if you do, just give it a thumbs up and a heart and a like. 